Hello everyone, it's Kavita from Red Door Yoga. Welcome back to the Red Door Yoga Mini Sutra series online. Today I wanted to talk about the art of going backwards. Now, on the path of self-mastery, even though the instinct in all of us is that we want to move ahead, we want to keep moving, you know, in a straight line, progressing, that's not actually how it works. It's uh, First of all, it's it's a little bit meandering and it's circular. And what I mean by that is you have to pass over the same ground several times in order for you to gain the depth of knowledge, the, the, the depth of mastery out of that ground. Um, and so it's not, you know, an A to B. It's kind of meandering and circular, passing over and, and almost spiraling deeper and deeper and deeper. But what happens is, in terms of that meandering, is that sometimes, as we're progressing, we fall off our path, or we seem to be knocked backwards. And there is actually benefit to this. The reason that there's benefit to this is because it allows us to go back for a moment and take, take the time to refine the ground that we've just passed over, to, to relook at it in a different way, to hear the information differently, to see our life experience differently. If you have fallen off of your self-mastery path, I want you to stop for a moment and look at the, the way the mind you know, is inclined to respond. It's inclined to, for a lot of us, to want to give up. It's inclined to say, I put in this much effort, I've fallen off, I can't do this again. But the truth is, you, you haven't lost the effort you've put in. That is going to inform you as you move, step backwards, as you start to go over the lesson again that you previously went through. Step back, don't try to just stand up and move forward. Step backwards, go backwards a bit, okay? Because you'll find some familiarity with that ground, some familiarity with that lesson, and you will actually find depth, depth that allows you to kind of dig in, get your grounding to push off and move forward again, okay? Now, for those of you who are currently in our mentorship, you know that I'm also literally talking about going back to the lessons that I've given you because in the mentorship, for those of you who are unaware, we actually have recorded lessons that uh, that we look at and that we do homework with, etc. So literally go back a lesson or two if you found that you've kind of stumbled a bit on your path. Go back a lesson or two. Look at that again, get your ground, dig in and push off. You'll be amazed at how much that projects you forward. For those of you who are not yet in the Master Full Path Mentorship Program, this goes for life. If you are having experiences and you go, I feel like I've fallen off, I feel like I've lost my way, stop for a moment. Step backwards into an experience where you felt like you could still kind of get a hold of yourself. Go backwards in your mind, remember the experience, go through the experience, see yourself in the experience. Where are you losing track? Where are you actually holding quite well? Where are you able to master yourself? Where can you re remain self-aware in that experience? See it more clearly. Once you can see that experience more clearly, move to the next moment, the next moment in time that you can take a hold of. And it may be now. How can I master myself in this moment? What can I do? that would be helpful to my mastery. It may be something as simply as going and washing your face, taking a few deep breaths, slowing down your heart rate. Those little areas of mastery that you can assert over the self will allow you to now go, my physicality, my mental space, these are all tools for me to wield. If I can actually wield the tool over on my mind, if I can wield the tool over my body, I can slow my breath down, I can slow my mind down, I can create some clarity. And I, I mentioned washing your face. It's amazing how washing your face can create a little bit of mental clarity. Okay? If I can create some mental clarity, I am showing mastery over the tool enough that I can step forward. Okay? So there is power in moving backwards so that you can find your ground again. You can dig in for power to project forward. I hope this was helpful, everyone. And I look forward to seeing you again online very, very soon.
Namaste.